Hello, my name is Fariba Madhushi and I'm WO pillar leader uh, of WCM uh, and I'm the member of industrialization team in Komao. The process of MADE is uh, was born based on uh, different requirement respect to other products of Komao. For example, here we have different quantity of material, different dimension and also the cycle time. The mate linea is uh, designed to guarantee the, um, the quality of repetitive operations uh, which are done uh, from the operator sites. Uh, so we have implemented some automatic controls in order to guarantee the torque uh, tightening of the screws, grease application and also the functional verification of the, um, each um, subgroups. Uh, the picking uh, material is also optimized uh, with a new solution uh, of pick to light in order to reduce the human error and also um, the time of the uh, picking material. We have introduced an automatic traceability in order to save the main data of all subgroups and also the final products. Look, let's go together to see how we produce made in Komao. In this stage, we assemble the active box. Active box is made core. To manufacture the active box, we use SOAP, an operating system that minimizes errors because it tells us which materials or components we should pick every time by lighting up the single stations. The system is called pick to light and it prevents errors. This means that you pick up the component wherever the light is on. It tells us which tips we should use to tighten so that the tool block remains unchanged. This way, errors are reduced to zero. The greaser allows us to always use the same amount of grease in the same operations, as it provides it automatically. The inspection stage is the last one in which we load in the seven positions of the cam and check the spring loading stage, making sure it's correct and always the same for every active box manufactured. In this workstation, we manufacture the final exoskeleton. We assemble the slides and the mechanical shoulder chain and then we position the active boxes. Once the assembly stage is complete, some codes are installed on the active boxes and once the serial number is positioned, the various components are combined to complete the exoskeleton. The relative documentation is then attached to the exoskeleton, which is hung on the rack for the final quality inspection.
this workstation, I carry out the quality inspection, which consists in the aesthetic and functional check of the mate exoskeleton. I visually check all the components, the fabric coverings, and the equipment mounted to assemble the exoskeleton. I check the documents that come with the exoskeleton, including the serial number label on the exoskeleton and on the packaging label, the European certificate, the quick reference, i.e. instructions on how to wear the exoskeleton, and the user and maintenance manual. Once I've checked that everything is compliant, I put the exoskeleton on the dummy. And this is when the functional check of the device starts. I start with the arms and I put the exoskeleton onto the dummy as if it was a human being. Then I move the arms. I check every piece because we check 100% of the exoskeletons. Once the functional inspection is complete, I prepare the external packaging, which is a plastic bag where I put the mate. Then I can put it into the packaging, which contains protection devices so that the mate can be delivered intact to the customer. In every bag, I add a sachet of dehydrating salts to maintain it in optimal conditions. The mate documents, meaning the instruction manual, quick reference and European certificate. Once the mate is complete with its accessories, it's intact and compliant, I fill out the quality gate OK document and I attach it to the box. Once this inspection is complete, I fill out a checklist for each mate, which I store in our systems. So when the mate is OK, I also give my OK on the checklist. Uh, when a purchase order arrived, where we um, insert it in our CRM system and then uh, with our order management we sent it directly to the production.